Republican candidate Mitt Romney voted about 30 minutes ago. This is not a live look. This was uh, this is on tape. This happened about 30 minutes ago or so. Earlier in the morning, we saw Joe Biden, Vice President Joe Biden, voting in Delaware. But this was uh, Republican candidate Mitt Romney there, uh, hoping for a good day there for him. Uh, voting earlier in Belmont, Massachusetts, and of course, President Obama voted early a few weeks ago. Uh, of course, all of us will be waiting to hear those four important words tonight. The projected winner is... Da, 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 da. Joining us this morning is Lipscomb professor and political analyst Linda Peekshat to preview the presidential race between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you here. for having me. So who in your mind do you feel has done the best job in getting their message across? Well, I think it depends on what time in the election cycle you're talking about. This has been a very unusual cycle. Uh, we had cell phone videos. We had the president virtually not showing up for the first debate. But in this last week, I think you saw Mitt Romney's message somewhat truncated by Hurricane Sandy. Yeah. Uh, and now they both come back in the last 48 hours with their very clear, different ideas about the role of government in America. So I'd say they both have done well in the last 48 hours. Yeah, I think it's interesting, you know, of the handful of states that we're talking about here that are battleground states. Uh, which one do you feel is the most important? You've got the Florida, Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, big one. Well, I think it's really important to focus on the Midwest, as every analyst is saying. But I also think that there's too much focus right now on, just on Ohio because as strange as it may seem, someone could lose Ohio and still get to 270. And the way that they do that is through Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is the state that has seen in the last two years the battle between these two views of government. Uh, what is the proper role of government? And so I think once you see what's happening in Ohio, you should also watch Wisconsin. Interesting. Is it possible, Linda, that President Obama could lose the popular vote but win the electoral vote? It's possible, and I really hope that it doesn't happen, because if there's one thing we need right now in America, it's a president with at least somewhat of a mandate. And if we go into another presidency with someone who's considered illegitimate because he did not win the popular vote but won the Electoral College, I think we run into more stalemate in Washington than, we had, than, than even we've had now. And it's possible that we may not even know who the winner is until maybe this time tomorrow morning. That's right. This could we go won't. into the night. But you know, Nick, the great thing is that with all the ads that the American people have seen telling them what to think, today they get to tell us what they think. Right. And so if you haven't gone out to vote, please do. Absolutely. So important. And one other quick thing. No real gaffes in this uh, campaign. Uh, of course, we had the 47% from Romney talking about that. We had President Obama kind of not showing up for that first debate. Right. But really, are you surprised that no real gaffes? have stood out in this campaign? No, I think the thing we've learned from this campaign is that we see the candidates probably best when they don't know they're on camera. And, uh, and so I wouldn't say that there are gaffes on the video, say the cell phone video, mm -hmm. or even gaffes when they don't know the mic is on, uh, because that's who they really are. And so I like when those things happen. <laughs> it always makes for an interesting uh, campaign and, and the way it all happens. Thank you so much for joining us, Linda Peekshat. Thank we appreciate you for it. having me. All right, and we'll find out, of course, tonight who that projected winner is. Thanks again. Have a good day.